Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of Revolt Theme and this is me Evie from Xexpress Themes. Well, in this particular video I'm going to show you how you can have contact us page as you can see in our demo site of Revolve Theme. Well, this is the demo site of our theme and you will find contact us page right here or you can slide down and you will find a section contact section here. You can click here too. Let me show you how our contact page that we have shown in this demo looks like well this is the contact page uh, we have in our demo and if you want a similar page like this that is with a contact form uh, your email address sorry your contact addresses and Google map and everything then I'm going to show you how we can do this well the particular layout here is done with some coding and HTML so if you are like me who doesn't know HTML and coding much then I'm going to show you some workaround on how you can combine all of these and show a decent contact us page. So let's get started by logging into your WordPress account. In your dashboard you will find the pages. Before making a contact page you first need to install a contact form 7 plugin. For that you need to go to plugins and click on add new. Well you can see I have already uh, installed this plugin. Thus an icon appears here on just below comments. Well if you are to add this plugin then just go to plugins and click on add new. Then you will, uh, you will need to search this plugin which name is contact form 7 and search for this plugin. It's a free plugin so you can just install it simply. You, you need to click an install now button which will appear here if you haven't installed. Then you need to activate this plugin and this icon will appear here. You need to go to this contact forms and click on add new and then configure your contact form uh, with the help of the documentation and YouTube tutorials you will get in YouTube. Then after you have configured that and have the forms that you require you will get a short code here. Well, this short code is used on uh, is to be pasted on the description content of a page. So let me copy this short code and uh, show it and just keep it here just to use it later. Then after this, you need to go to pages so that we can make a contact page. Go to pages and click on add new. Here you need to add a title any title you want then here in description box you need to paste that short code you got from contact form 7 I'm gonna copy this short code and uh, paste it here after this if you want to have your contact address then you can have that too just enter and I have it here already with address email addresses and everything so just I'm copying and pasting it here to show you if you want a Google map as well in your contact page then the process to get that is you need to go to maps.google.com or you can uh, search for Google Maps and a site will appear then here you need to search for your uh, company or anything I'm gonna search my company you'll get your Google map of your company or your location then to get the Google iframe you need to click this menu here you'll find share embedded map you need to go to embedded map and uh, copy So while pasting the, that iframe, make sure to go click text. So for a clear view, I'm going to place this Google map just above contact form. So I'm going to go there. And paste my Google iframe just above here. After this, you can see it will appear as such. You can also configure the width and height as well of this con uh, sorry Google map. I'm gonna configure the width only and give it a full width view. 
So I'm going to put 1900 and then it will appear on a full width view like this. Then you need to publish this page. After that, you have added a Google map, your contact address and your contact form. So now that your page is made, you need to do is go to appearance and then click on customize. Now go to home slider settings to add this in your slider. I have it already up to slider four. So I'm going to add this page in slide five. Choose the page you created that is contact us. You can put the contact title. Contact us. Then you can put a description if you want or not. And then click on save and publish. Now, now that you have configured your home slider, you need to add this page on your menu. So to do this, let's go back to your WordPress dashboard. And you need to go to appearance and then click on menus. Now you need to add this contact us page on your menu. Just click on add to menus. Make sure you create a new menu. I have already created it. Thus it is appearing as such. If you haven't, then you can click on create a new menu and create a, new, a menu for yourself. Then since you have added this contact us page here, make sure to check this primary and click on save menus. Now your menu is saved. Now let's go to our front end and check how will this appear. Here is your front end of the site and you will find this contact us menu here just below portfolio. It is also added. Well, I think I forgot to add feature post image on the contact page. That's why it's not appearing. So let us go to pages again and uh, add feature image. Yes, I haven't. So let us add a feature image on your contact page that you created and then click on update. Now let's again go to our front end and see it. Here you'll find your home slider with the, the contact page. You can click here or here. And here you will contact us page will appear as such. It's pretty much as in our demo side with everything that you will require to show to your website viewers. So I hope this video is helpful to you in configuring this contact us page. And if you have any problem with the description that I have explained in this video, then you can go to our revolved documentation that you will find on the theme detail page here. You need to click it and a page will appear like this. You have configuration here and or you can contact our support team to get help relating this you can find details here so thank you very much everyone and if you like our video then do subscribe to our channel thank you very much